I'm Janice Crowley from Wichita Collegiate School, and I wanted to point out to you how atoms become ions and obtain the charges. You'll need to have a periodic table when you're doing this because that will really help as we're going along. Let's use a common example of a compound that you know. Do you know what the name of common table salt is, the scientific name? If you said sodium chloride, you're right. Sodium chloride has that formula. And if you remember when we talked about it in an earlier chapter about why elements like to become isoelectronic with the noble gases, that was because they wanted to achieve an outer octet, that they were more stable when they could achieve an outer octet. So for example, these elements here all have eight in their outer shell except for helium. Helium has two, but it still um, has a full outer shell. So all of these elements here are very stable and don't want to react. All these elements here want to gain electrons to be isoelectronic with a noble gas. And all these elements here want to lose electrons to be isoelectronic with a noble gas. So if you look at sodium, for example, remember it has a 3s1 in its outer shell it will lose the 3s1 in its outter shell and become a 2s2, 2p6. If you count up the number of electrons that we now have, it will have 10 electrons like neon. And so therefore it becomes isoelectronic with neon, but it does not become neon because it still retains its 11 protons that were in its nucleus. Now chlor chlorine, on the other hand, is all the way over here. It has the S2 and P5, the 3P5 electrons in its outer shell. If it would gain one more electron, it will have 18 electrons and become isoelectronic with argon. Let's look and see how it develops that charge. Sodium by itself is neutral. It has 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1 as its electron configuration. It has 11 protons in the nucleus, and it has 11 electrons surrounding it. That includes the outer shell and inner shell electrons as well. Neutral chlorine has 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5, as its electron configuration, as you can see, it has seven electrons in its outer shell. Let's look at sodium again. This is the outer shell. Remember, it's the highest energy level. It has one electron in its outer shell. If you'll notice that if we can get rid of this, then sodium can achieve eight electrons in its outer shell and look like neon. So when that happens, when sodium ends up having 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, if you count up these numbers of electrons, we now have 10 electrons, we have 11 protons still, and a positive 11 and a negative 10 end up giving us a plus 1 charge. If you come over here, you can see that it has 7 electrons in its outer shell. It gladly accepts the electron from sodium, and it will have the configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. Becomes 3p6. And now, if we were to count these up, instead of having 17 protons that we had up here and 17 electrons, Chlorine will now have 17 protons still and 18 electrons if you count these across. So a positive 17 and a negative 18 give us an overall negative 1 charge. And that's how atoms become ions and obtain the charges.